memorable wheel. Sitting here now, it is 8.25 in the morning. We're ready, aren't we, Leon? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go. I'm just waiting to... For this boat here, we're going to pair up with them. What was going to pair up with the boat in the background at 9 o'clock, but he said he's going at 8, so I decided to go with him. But now he's ready at the back there. I feel really guilty now, so I'll pair up with him. And then I'm not pairing up with him, and I'm pairing up with him. Oh, complexities of going down locks. 21 locks in succession. CRT are here, I think, and we're just waiting now, so. Alrighty. It looks like we're all moving now, look, we're all going in. Turn around, go on. Not doing anything, mate. Just standing there. Fair play. Quite deep, aren't they? out first pulled the other person's front end towards the open gate saves us opening two gates then as his, uh, his, his missus went ahead and Leon you know opened this gate so it just saved us opening two gates okay, it seemed to work well didn't it eh? he moves boats for a living auctioneer on top it supports the uh, locks, doesn't it? I decide to do some work. Let's speed him up so he looks like he's having a heart attack. After that, he needs a nap. Some of these uh, lock gates were leaking so badly that um, it could actually sink your boat. You know, if your back doors are open, it goes into your water goes into the back of your boat. So I had to, I had to reverse my boat right back there. Oh, not again! Don't start. Don't start with the 69. Oh, come on. Oh, Mrs. Don't titter now. No, Francis. Don't titter. Morning. We met another boat coming up. So we're just working out how we're going to work this out, you know. Sharing thoughts and ideas. We work out a plan. 
intending to walk down the side of the boat looking cool, Will is now back on board. is open. Thanks doggy. Morning. Well, my particular gearbox is supposed to pause it in between forward and reverse but in these sort of situations you don't have to take a lot of stick these uh, these gearboxes and clutches you know. so leaky it's so easy to sink your boat in some of these locks just pouring water out onto your boat you know these seals here look they're pretty big so you want to stay well clear of those you don't get caught on those when you're going down hey massive isn't it no that is a massive seal the size of it that's six foot So am I to be honest. I'm Trying not. to steer this boat right, yeah, it's freaking hard work. Trying to make your job look hard. Yeah. Just got his boat, just got his boat caught on that ladder and he virtually it was like that. And these two are running to close the paddles quick and then it then it flicked off and he went whammo! Oh my god, give me a heart attack. Jeez. Did you get what I mean there? The something on his boat got caught on that ladder because the ladders they, they're not uh, they stick out on these locks they're really annoying um, so yeah everything gets caught on them and the side of his boat got caught on it as we're dropping down and you're screaming turn the, turn the sluices off turn the sluices off because his boat was caught on it it was not even his boat and um, no tipped it right up oh it's happened so quick and, it, and all of a sudden it just flicked off the ladder and then it just rocked and uh, everything fell off inside. Mad. Just want to show you here that he didn't quite catch. As he was going out, you've only got like a split second to pull the boat and he didn't quite catch it because the flow pushed the boat back in. Now I've got to try and get that front end out without having to scrape yourself down that slimy wall when you walk down the boat. So I'm trying here to get the front end out and it's just uh, 
This is why you need someone to pull your front end out as they're going out. You spend ages trying to get off this wall, you know. Come on, boy, you can do it. Get us off here. Do it so in the end you have to walk down that slimy wall get covered in that slime off on your clothes push the front end out physically with my body you know that's it one will push yourself off there we are look oh god about time in it that's what i mean you've got to need to get that front end out why you step in the other gate you know well, leon's up there he's busy i don't want to climb out he's doing the next lock you know used locks and stuff like that you know reclaimed boulders what they used amazing come on out kid come on, on there to hold it there's little bars there to hold the lock closed hold up mate also as a lovely little bonus you got these these by washers that push your boat over just to make it a little bit more interesting for you as you're going through the locks. Nice. Morning. Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we there yet? God's truth. I'm lucky like just doing the boat. You know, trying to do that full whack all the time. Get to locks, jumping off, jumping on again. And these, and these, uh, moan, 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 bloody moan. And these lock sluices, they turn so slow and they're so stiff. Oh, and I painted that two days ago. Look at it. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's just a waste of time putting any effort into it. That's the, that's a big point there. Look, see, it's been damaged a lot. Get the ladders you see in the middle of the locks and stuff. Hey, never mind. It is what it is. Interesting structures adorn the towpaths, making it interesting to the eyes. Great couple, these two. Uh, man and wife team. They've been delivering boats for years. He knows all the networks and all the ins and outs of it. And the little dog, look, he's pushing as well, look, giving it a hand. Go on, that's it. Nice. It's a bit worrying at how fenced off his, his house is, isn't it? Luckily for me, I've got a trad stern so I can just shut the doors and protect the back end. But if you had a cruiser stern on these locks, the amount of water that leaks onto the back of your boat, I don't know how you protect your boat. And get water into the engine bay, you know. Mad. Right, must be getting closer to the end now because it's we've got hyzes down here, you know. Hyzes. Right, let's do some work, shall we? Oh, a little bit late there, look. Let's just pretend I was going to grab the rope, shall we, instead? Yeah, yeah, just grabbing the rope, love. I wasn't going to do anything anyway. Yeah. Hey, bless him. You hear the sluices in the background, how slow they are. Oh, they're mind numbing. Passing sticks to me, don't you? Get 
chop them on, you'll chop them on your head and everything. The couple that own, own that dog, they told me that uh, he regularly uh, runs up to the edge of the lock and drops stones on his head. <laughs> so he said he throws a stone so he chases them. All big sticks, he said. Drops big sticks on his head and stuff like that. God, mad, isn't it? Almost there. Three hours we've done, half eleven now, started at, I think it's quarter to nine. And half eight, something like that. So David Attenborough would be proud of these locks. Navvies digging all this out, and each one's got its own pound, as you notice on the picture there. And digging all this out, all the, just to come down this big hill, and all the work that was involved all those years ago. It wasn't uh, no technical machines, it was just all simple digging with navvies and barges and steam driven and horses. And amazing times, isn't it? The gate stuck, something behind the gate. These gates are hard, I'm telling you. Go down there and head down here. Look, oh, all this down this What's up there. Look, oh, leak branch. Let me explore that. way to work for when I was a boy years ago so was it horse drawn no diesel engines horse drawn was must be 100 years ago in it bloody yeah. hell hey it's, one, it's got 120 to the green He's hit it. Slightly short, I think it's a ditch there. Yeah. 